two times about you. you. Gotta let it go. If you love it, I can expound on why you must let it go. Dang it, one camp. I don't hear nobody else. I'm gonna say it like this. I don't hear nobody else speaking against the two third doctrine. Everybody uses it. Everybody uses it. And it needs to get put to rest, man. You know, we was guilty and wrong in teaching it. And like many of things, we whenever we were wrong, we renounced them. We don't just slide slowly out act like we never did it. Like we was always right. But to two thirds doctrine is how they link the Revelation seven and say that two thirds of Israel gonna die, only one third gonna make it, and then they loop it back around talking about two thirds gonna come back in the kingdom because they mixing all the Old Testament prophecies. I mean, all, yeah, all the Old Testament prophecies with the future and the kingdom. And there's just so much garbage on top of garbage that one West has done a number. And that's when we've been dedicating a lot of our studies to debunking the, the destruction of those doctrines that we were once not bound to. Share a screen. It can't be no more simple than that. So you heard and then you saw, right? And it shall come to pass that in all the land, Said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. The third part being brought through the fire, it's the same thing. It's the refinement process. Two-thirds got killed. One-third was brought through fire. It got dwindled down. And guess what? They were refined. It was a small sanctuary, a number, a remnant. Nothing to do with y'all trying to make it connect to Revelation 7, which is the next thing. But before we go to Revelation 7, I'm going to say this. This proves that out of, out, of, out of the freaking two-thirds, that two-thirds were immediately destroyed, one-third was dwindled down to a remnant, it's always taking place, and this is not a two-fold prophecy for you, because that's somebody in the background right now. There's two or four while. Yeah, that's the you because that's somebody in the background right now. There's two or four while. Yeah, that's what I want to address real quick. My two, my double prophecy prophets. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to you other elders, Akim, you brethren, uh, you followers of the truth, and let me say shalom to the elect. I want to go in this video here, which is kind of different, because I normally don't go in videos with guys like this that was a part of Great Millstone, unless the spirit has it to go there, because there is guys there who have left and has continued to teach that I might have, uh, the scripture says reprove, which means to shame, when you go into the you know the understanding of it but here we have uh, uh, some guys from uh, Chicago who um, were former Great Millstone GMS members and we'll just say formerly in the doctrine that we taught right who um, now have received new revelations and they have the true understanding the Most High sent the angel to beam to them and give them the truth or something um, now he's going into the blue letter, you know, or he continued that part to go into the blue letter. Um, Nazariah, I believe his name is, he has the Hebrew writing on his Bible. All this come from one West, but somehow they have managed to take uh, what they got and then go and create a new doctrine to create a new door to go into. And this is the ways of this man in the system that's what he does he takes everything this is why Jeremiah 5 and 28 says they've surpassed the deeds of the wicked that, that's how this man gets down right the rulers of darkness okay um, let's go to John 10 and 7 I'm not going to go into too much of it for the fact that we do teach the two-thirds of our people going to be cut off and die but the understanding the true understanding of the whole matter is to seek your salvation and try to do the best you can as an Israelite, right? To so you can receive salvation. These guys, under the, the um, hedge of what they're teaching, is saying, "Well, don't worry about the two thirds. That's an old doctrine. So I guess everybody's going to be saved, no matter who, no matter what. So just continue sinning." 
Maybe that's the uh, the message. I don't know. Let's go to uh, John 10 and 7. Then said Jesus, Yahweh unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Okay? Um, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. But me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastor. The thief come not but to steal and to kill and destroy. That's these guys. This is what this is talking about. This is actually talking about Israelites. We read it for this man and his system, but this is talking about Israelites. This is what these guys have done. They've managed to come in, spy out the liberties, find out the truth, go sit up there with the apostles and sit on the chairs and say shalom, shalom, you know, being all cool with the apostles. But meanwhile, their whole agenda was eventually to get, get, obtain all the knowledge they could obtain, steal it, and then rewrite it, okay, remix it, and um, rebase it, so to speak, uh, like sub, like you know, bass music, rebase it, right? Bring in a new hertz, so to speak, and uh, bring in a new doctrine. That is a, a thief to come to to, to to steal, to kill a doctrine, and destroy Jake. You know, so you got to watch Jake like this, man. The thief coming not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I come that they might have life and that they might have more abundantly. Right? Uh, it goes on to say, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling, one that's hired the agents, and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not. See if the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep. These guys don't go out. We don't see him go out and teach. Now, ultimately, I was going to do a video on other Israelites, like the other guys that left Detroit, which we know that there's still a GMS Detroit brothers are still pushing. But you had the guy, uh, you know, the belly of hell or whatever they used to call themselves, the Good Samaritans, you, no, nowhere to be found. Uh, it was another Jake I was going to do a video on. He, he's been missing 10 years and talking about he was a true prophet. So then when everything leaves, right, and they get everybody and carry them, you know, a, a, an audience with them, then this hell is starting to break loose. Things are starting to happen. Where is Jake? Still doing videos like this? Trying to come against us for two-thirds when our people need to have some fear for the Lord? That is insane. And let's say, okay, that is to be true. This didn't happen. And um, that was a two-thirds. It was happened years ago. It's nothing, okay, that, that, that doesn't have anything to do with now. And Revelation, the first, first of all, it says 144,000 in, in one thirty in, in the elect. Um, I'll get that in a second. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything where whereof it may be said, See, this is new. It had been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. So we have to understand that, you know, things repeat themselves. Just like this place, I, I believe they say this is not Babylon. I mean, there's so many doctrines and this is what happens when you kind of come under your own you know way of teaching and you decide to take a part of a doctrine which you guys should have did you should have found out you was Israelites left GMS then you should have started your own thing what, what I mean by your own thing everything throw out the blue letter throw out the name of the Lord um, throw out everything that you've learned and start fresh over but you're trying to build on another man's foundation and what you're trying to do is enter in some other way you know this is what you're doing and that is pure wickedness because you're keep, keeping the name of the Lord right if um, if it was so if it was so wicked right then the Lord would not gave us the name but you kept that so the Lord said you know what I'm going to give the name to the apostles of Great Millstone and even before them the, the teachers 
um, going back and the apostles have now have uh, and I say the apostles a great millstone because that's who these jakes have learned off of so the Lord gave the name to your apostle to all and down all the apostles Apostle Gabal, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Rakal, the elders, and us brothers, and our other elders and brothers, bishops. But now these guys have managed to get the truth, right? Now they got the name from through the spirit which was given to us. Now they got it, and now they're saying, well, we don't need you guys anymore. Now true, the Lord can use men to, to bring you to a certain uh, direction or a certain point and then split you off. But when you're bugged out like that, he's not concerned about salvation. They're concerned about two-thirds. Anyway, let me go on to Revelation. He talks about Revelation 7. And after this things, these things I beheld, I saw four angels, four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. And the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor the tree. Now, uh, I didn't put that clip in there, part in there, but he said it's talking about the earth, right? Like the whole earth, right? When you dealing with positive and negative poles, the negative is considered earth. When you go outside and stand on the ground, that's still earth, okay? Just to get that point. Um, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, uh, till we have sealed the servants of our, our power in their foreheads, right? Um, so when we go to pa Apostle Paul, um, what does Apostle Paul says? And this is um, when you go to, uh, I believe, Romans 11. Let me go to 11 and 5. Uh, Even so, then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. There's a remnant. That's still a small number, right? So, I guess if you don't want to believe in the two thirds, that's your right. You're not. You're not in our doctrine. But stop spewing lies, and understand that there's an election, right? And he goes on and talk about um, the scriptures. Even say that the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay. So, uh, let me go on. Uh, yeah, it says it right here. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. So he's saying that the two-third thing happened already, in, I believe, in 70 AD. And let's say that did happen. And he says he don't believe in twofold scriptures. Well, let's go to Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever thing were written aforetime were written for our learning uh, that we, through patience and comfort, of the scriptures might have hope right that's clear right those things were written really for our learning today because we didn't they didn't you know if we were those prophets I don't know if I was the one more likely was but the prophets that are here today uh, back then would have known it okay I mean wouldn't have known what they uh, what we know today so let's go to Revelation 1 and just real quick, I just want to hit a few points. So when uh, Zechariah says two, th two parts thereof, thereof shall be cut off and die, I think Zechariah 13, um, this is for us anyway. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, and you know, everybody who comes together, I hate one West, that falls out, they hate one West, and the only way to get back at the uh, prophets or their teachers is keep the blue letter, keep the name, keep all those things, but throw out everything else and let's build up a new foundation. Yeah, that's entered in some other way. Romans 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Right? And all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. So, there is a thing called reincarnation. Right? You believe in hell, then I guess the ones who pierced him, right? Which is a lot of you jakes who were responsible for having that done, right? Who will uh, see that again. That's why the Lord preserve a lot of you jakes and keep you, keep you alive here in, this, uh, in Babylon for his return to make this prophecy true. And this is the fear that I have. 
that I'm not one of those ones to, to, to who who was uh, responsible or wanted to see Yahweh um put to death, right? Or the wicked, or be the non-elect. That's what I fear. You know, I fear the Most High. That's what you what you're supposed to fear. But these guys are telling you, oh, everybody ain't about the two thirds that already happened. Babylon is the Vatican. It is no missiles in the Bible. It's just everything is different now. These are disgruntled prophets, man, that once had it, they don't have it no more, right? And like I said, I don't normally do videos on these type of jakes, but you were once in GMS, and now this is the, the outcome. They got a platform. I don't think you see them go out. They've always used the truth for business or the truth for some way of getting some form of fame or whatever the case is, or maybe in their mind they're in denial. They don't want to accept the fact that they just don't have it. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. I'm sure it's way more scriptures on that, or way more things to go in on that topic. But I just wanted to get my quick points out that the, um, the scriptures clearly, um, we believe, is two-thirds are going to be cut off. I mean, the scriptures speak of that. Even going back in the time of Jeremiah, remember, everything I've written aforetime time was for our learning. When he said, pray not for this people, for their good. I mean, we're reading this, and we're seeing this for today. This, that, that Romans 15 links all of that. It's for our learning today, to, for the Lord to show you what's going to happen again. And they say it's the twofold scriptures, no such thing. How many things that have happened in the past are happening again? As Rome, when Rome fell, we see this place fall in the same exact way. Over and over again, things that have happened in the past is happening again. When this man rose up on us in the past, he's rising up on us, getting ready to rise up on us again. Come on, man, you guys are out of it, man. And you know what? Your followers, they follow you. That's all good because the weirder the doctrine or the crazy the doctrine or the off the doctrine, you're going to have a group of followers or rebellious people, some who women who used to be with men that was in the truth and they fell out. And of course, they're going to follow them. Or they was in the truth and they don't like things that we said. We don't care. We just have to do the Lord's work. That's all I have on that show.